Today we're gonna to talk about the one key math secret to propel your math score on the SSAT private school exam. Alexis Avila here at our office in Wellesley, Massachusetts. If you have questions about tutoring, test prep, college admissions, executive function coaching, both in person or online, visit preppedandpolished.com or call 781-753-9951. And remember, if you find value watching this video, smash that like button and click subscribe button and click the bells to get notifications for new videos. Now let's get right to our video. When approaching the SSAT test and specifically looking at the math sections of the test, you're gonna have two different math sections, one at the beginning and one, th one at the end. And for a lot of students, the hardest thing to be prepared for, for the SSAT, whether it's the lower level, middle level, or upper level, is just the breadth of potential topics that can show up in the math. So one of the secret tips to help you be prepared for this is to create a master list of math concepts, formulas, approaches, and processes of elimination that you can use to anticipate any kind of question. Now, a lot of times we talk about this secret tip. It is necessary to have someone such as ourselves at Prepped and Polished or another tutor to help navigate the path through the SSAT to identify the specific questions or concepts that your student is struggling with. Now, I'm a firm believer that there's no absolute list, that every list can be added to, it can be continued on, so they need to be creating what I call a rolling style of the list in terms of the math, especially identifying different types of numbers or concepts, formulas, processes that need specific attention. Now you can identify this list into three categories. So there's stuff that you know that you struggle with. There's stuff that you don't know or are learning. And then there's stuff that you can make simple errors on. You know it but you find that this one thing that I always seem to be making a mistake on. By identifying those categories and filling out that list and having what I call a rolling style of a list, you can continually add to it throughout the entire tutoring process, starting day one. Now, starting day one, all you really have to, to go off of is either previous practice tests that students have used, either in school or on a practice test that you may have taken at our office at Prepped and Polished or you've taken a practice test at home. Now, once we have that starting material, typically a tutor can work with the student on building upon that content that they definitely didn't know or definitely struggle with on that practice test. And then, as we continue through the tutoring process, adding new information, adding review material. That list is gonna be at the forefront of their notebook or study guide or binder that they're gonna continually add to. And the best thing that we can do here is once we have that list and as we continue to add to it, continuously review that list every single day, maybe twice a day, for five to 10 minutes per day is what I suggest. Now in the beginning, obviously students are gonna typically going to master most of the content on that list since there is only a little bit of material on it. But as we go on and add and create this accumulative review packet, you're gonna to need to spend a little bit of time each day memorizing, making it less of a, a bite and more of a nibble in terms of all that math content that you have in front of you. Now this also allows us to then use the list to revisit formulas, revisit the concepts that the student's struggling with, or in the beginning, to ensure that over the course of the tutoring process, we've learned it. And if they haven't, then we know we have to revisit that and double check and be prepared for it when it comes up on the test. Now, every master list is gonna be different based on the student, and even different for the same student going from one test to another a student might find that they need to add more to the list. Now, working with students, we wanna try and prepare them for the test. So by creating the master list and starting early, I think that's the best part. This is gonna help propel the math score over the course of the tutoring process. Again, if you guys have any questions or you wanna go over some of the concepts that come up on the SSAT math section, depending on level, please contact us at Prepped and Polished 
we'd be happy to set up a consultation and discuss that material and content and maybe pair you up with a tutor so that you can help your son or daughter or child get through the test more easily and be prepared for it when it occurs. Now, good luck on your SSAT exam. Go crush it, and I'll talk to you soon.